Welcome. Uh, what was that first practice like for you? Good. It was a tough one. Uh, a lot of skating and stuff like that, but uh, you know it's finally get, good to get things started and uh, happy to be here. What sends out to you about Coach Berube? Good. I mean, he wants hard uh, us to be a hard skating team and uh, you know do right in the systems and and uh, yeah work hard every day and take it day by day. So I mean, he's been really good impression, first impression. So um, he's gonna make this team uh, really good. What do you want to show at this camp? Obviously, you're going to leave a great, great impression. Try to leave a, as good an impression as, as I can. You know, work hard every day, get better every day, and, uh, you know, focus on the things I can control and, and show them that I, I can be an NHL player. Why did you choose this sign here? Just uh, looking through options. Uh, I mean, I think it was the best to, to go here um, with the development and, and stuff like that. They really care about the, the development of players, you know, and uh, can make me a better player. and. If I get the chance to, to get that NHL contract, you know, it could be really good for me. Did you have NHL contract offers? Like, it, it just seems strange because of your NHL experience to, that you chose the AHL. Yes, uh, I did. Yeah. What did your brother, what was your brother's influence on, on any of this? Yeah, obviously, he was a big influence and my dad, my agent, uh, talking a lot uh, throughout the summer. But uh, we made the, we thought this was the best option for me in my career. So uh, it's feeling really good and I'm really happy about it. Right, living with your brother? Yes, I am. <laughs> What's that like? It's good. It's obviously was a little weird going to practice together in the beginning, but uh, now it's getting more more used to it, and it's 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 a lot of fun. I couldn't could be happier. Is that something you the two of you sort of hoped for when you were kids that you would be together in the NHL someday? Yeah, of course. I mean, it's obviously was a dream since we were younger to both just be in the NHL, and then now that we could could have a chance of playing on the same team together is huge, and it's obviously a, a dream come true if that happens. And uh, got to work really hard to, to get that. What is kind of roommate is he? He's good. He's chill. You know, we're we're like best friends, so you know, we 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 talk to each other, we let each other be, and uh, chill out with each other. So um, it's just really easy easy to be with. Who's the better cook? Uh, we're both not the best, but I'll say he's a little better. I'll say <laughs> has he's he got a little more experience. Sorry, has he told you what it's like to be a Maple Leaf and what it's like to play in Toronto and all that stuff? Yeah, I mean, he saw, told me a little bit. Obviously, I've, I've seen that and heard about it uh, when, uh, when he's been playing here for the past, I don't know, eight years or whatever. So, I mean, he loves it, and uh, he's got to come to work every day, uh, be prepared, and uh, you know, he's trying to get better every day. And uh, it's a big fans here, and they love the hockey, so that is awesome. And, um, you know, he said it's a great city to play in. How do you think he'll do as a center? I think he'll be fine. Uh, he... He's played that role before in his career, and uh, you know I think he can play anywhere. Um, but uh, I think he, he'll do he'll do really good there as well, or just as good in the wing. So, Willie, sorry, mm -hmm. you and your yes. brother played together very briefly because he got hurt at the World yes. Juniors way back when. Do you have any other experience playing together? Mm, I think we had one tournament back home in Sweden when we were like I don't even know eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. I don't know how old we were, but that was like the only time. Some people are obviously want to see you two guys play together. Important for you, though, to take it one step at a time, not to get ahead of things. And yeah, of training. course. Yeah. I'm here for, uh, to, to focus on my day-by-day, -day, uh, every practice, you know, try to get better every day and uh, show them that, you know, that I can be an NHL player and, uh, and uh, show them that I like to compete and work hard. So uh, that's kind of my goal thinking about right now, not thinking too far ahead, uh, just focusing on here and now. You were quite productive last year in, in Columbus in about a quarter of a season. Where do you feel your level of confidence is at in your game right now? Oh, it's uh, it's good. Um, obviously, I had a great summer, and uh, it was nice to get that, that feeling of scoring there and, and uh, you know knowing what I'm able to do, what I'm capable of doing. So it gave me a huge confidence boost in the summer, and I'm just bringing it here and uh, feeling even better. What did management tell you about what you need to do to earn an NHL contract? I mean, we haven't spoken too much on that, but uh, like I've been saying, um, you know, I just got to show them that I can work hard, uh, play both ends of the uh, of the of the arena, and uh, you know, show. I know when my skills can come up, but also be a two way two way forward and uh, take care defensively and be good offensively. When you watch William play center growing up, why was he good in that role? Well, he's fast and uh, you know he's he's obviously got can score, but he's also good at you know, making a pass, getting it back, and uh, opening up plays for you. So like he he'll have the puck a lot on the stick, and that's when he's really good. So that's uh, that'll be really good for him. What says that about Cowan? Getting with him, Easton. Oh, he's great. Yeah. Um, he's got really good vision. I've had one practice with yeah. him. 
and uh, you know he's he's a great guy. I haven't got to know him too much yet, but uh, you know the way he did last year and stuff like that is is, is obviously amazing, and um, you know he really shows that he, he can be a great player. What sort of uh, first impression is Coach Pudi in the United? Yeah, uh, I think his practice was good. It was it was intense, and you know all the guys are working, so I think you know, he brings that uh, brings that intensity and and even a bit of a physical aspect. So I'm I'm happy to to see that and look forward to see how it affects our team. It seemed like there was a lot of battle and compete. Just how much is that something he's been emphasizing just early on here, the compete level? Yeah, I think that's something that's going to be you know, emphasized throughout the year is um, you know being hard on the puck and and being you know one of the hardest teams to play against. So I think uh, first practice was a good good start to that. How have you embraced the opportunity that you're getting this year, this season, to be the guy? Yeah, it's uh, you know it's an exciting opportunity um, to come into the year, and I've I've tried to make sure you know this summer uh, being able to pre prepare my body for for a full season, and um, you know doing as as much as I can to help this team. So uh, you know I'm very excited for the opportunity, and I'm looking forward to a, a good year. I've, I think you know the additions we made with the coaching staff and, and the team this summer are, are really exciting. So I think it's going to be a good season. Have well, you changed your training reg regimen? I know, like at the end of the year, uh, Tree talked about how they had to find a way to make your body more durable. Yeah, yeah um, you know, I think it's it's been unfortunate some of the, the injuries and, and the timing of things. Uh, but you know, I'm, I'm trying to focus on you know what's what's here now and in the future. And I think I made good adjustments this summer, and you know, I was really happy with uh, all the different people I, I was able to work with. I think you know we have you know the best staff in, in the world here, and um, yeah, I was really happy with with the adjustments. What adjustments did you make? Uh, I think I was just trying to focus on you know stability throughout my body a lot more, and um, I think from from the time I first got on the ice, I felt like that that translated well. So you know, that was one of the one of the things I tried to focus on. How well do you know Anthony Stoller? I gather you got the same agent, is that right? Yeah, uh, but you know, I, I met him uh, the first first day he got here. Um, I've, I've chatted with him a little bit on the ice when we were playing Florida and stuff, but I uh, had you know, kind of a formal introduction and he seems like a great guy, so I'm excited to get going. From an emotional standpoint, what was it like watching Game 7? I mean, you had such a good series up until the point of getting hurt. Yeah, um, you know, it was obviously a... Uh, not a great experience, um, but you know, as, as much as we can talk about that, I, I honestly I prefer to, to talk about now and put put Game Seven in the past, put the years behind, and let's focus on uh, what we got ahead. What did it mean to you to get the contract extension right away? Yeah, it's uh, pretty awesome to to know that they have faith in me, and um, you know, I think that's uh, something I've been I was really proud of. You know, I think that's that's something you have to earn from from staff and from players and from coaches and. Um, but it's just something you have to continue to earn. So I'm, I'm looking forward to this year to continue to, to earn that faith and that trust. And um, you know, I'm just going to try to do everything I can to help this team. You mentioned Craig being, uh, you know, uh, uh, establishing kind of a heavy training camp and uh, intensity and all that. Think that'll make you a more intense goaltender? Or you, you'll be a bit more aggressive in the crease. Uh, I don't know contagious? about aggressive. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Um, is it contagious? I no, guess is I, I think asking. it's. I, yes, I, I do think it's contagious. I think the way it's contagious for goalies is mm. maybe not so much aggressive. I don't think that I'm not going to turn into Ron Hackstall or anything. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I think it's it's more of the mindset of, of the compete and yeah. the work. Um, yeah. And I think it's you know 100 percent of the time. It's, there's no reps off, and I think that's that's something he's going to really emphasize. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, to to be a hard team and a physical team is is not always to go running around smashing everyone, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. It's it's how you play, it's how you compete, it's what you got going on up here. So right. I think mm -hmm. I think that definitely um, it does does move throughout the team, and it's, it's cool to see. Did you get up to anything interesting in the summer to decompress or just to get away from hockey for a little bit? Yeah, yeah, I had a lot, lot going on. Um, wedding season, so I had some, some of my good buddies' weddings and uh, got out to the mountains a little bit. Um, some, some music and all that. Saw some family, so it's a good summer. What has stood out to you about Matt Murray since he's you know come back and with his uh, surgeries and everything? Just what stood out about him? Um, you know, he's he's always been a, a pretty awesome guy to, to be in the locker room with, and he's he's always treated me very well from from my entire time here. So from for the first first point, I guess it's just nice to be back around him and, and have him skating and, and be out there with him. Um, but you know, it looks like he hasn't missed a beat. I think uh, he's a you know a special goalie, and his his track record shows that. So I'm I'm happy that he's here and to be part of this team. What does it mean for a goalie to have a guy like Chris Tanev in front of you? 
<laughs> I'm excited to find out. <laughs> yeah, no, it's uh, when you have guys that, that play hard and, and you know will you know do do whatever it takes to to keep the puck out of the net. And, and those guys are playing on your team and in front of you. It's pretty cool. So I'm excited to, to play a season with them. What was the day one under Craig Ruby like? It was a tough practice, uh, but it was good to get it, the the jitters out. Good to be with the guys and happy the first day's uh, over now and recover for the next day. What the is the it? word was uh, you wanted a fresh start at the start yeah. of the summer? Ultimately, why did you decide to, to sign back here? Uh, I'm not going to deep dive into that. Um, I signed in Toronto. I'm happy to be in Toronto. Um, being back here a week ago, it's good to see everyone. I'm happy to be back. What excites you about the opportunity, or what opportunity do you see here this year? <sighs> I mean. I guess that's up to Craig to answer. For me, I know I gotta come in and work hard and, and uh, build on what last year. I had some confidence, obviously, with the season, and and uh, just work with my line mates and get to know the new system and go from there. What does a coaching change mean to you? Do you think? Um, I mean, just different voice behind the bench. I think it's a new voice for everyone, obviously, and uh, it's our job to earn the respect of the new coaching staff and and to learn his system and, and to play the way he wants us to play. What did you prove last year, do you feel like? I think I showed just confidence. I think obviously being healthy and, and being uh, confident and relaxed had a huge part of that. I think I proved that I could um, you know, produce and play confidently. And um, again, like I said, I'm going to continue with that and build on that in the camp and as preseason and season starts. You're starting out, looks like, with, with John Tavares. What's yeah. that like? Oh, that's great. You know, I'm familiar with Johnny and Bob. So it's no, no different for me being on the right side and um, it's good to get chemistry with those guys and I'm sure as the camp goes on you get more touches in the game-like situations and, and uh, we'll feel good as a line. I'm understanding you don't want to get into the nitty-gritty of it. What was the summer like not knowing exactly where you were going to be? Well, I had a great summer. I mean, uh, as far as that, I signed in September and I was happy to sign. I was here at the right time. I wanted to be here. And, uh, but I had a great summer. It was the best summer of my career. You know, like I said, I'm not coming off an injury, thankfully. And uh, my conditioning feels good, body feels good, and I'm looking forward to this camp. What's the difference when you're able to come into camp having spent a summer training as opposed to a summer of rehab? Oh, it's so much better. Your body uh, feels upper, lower body, everything. Mental state's great because you're not having to focus on rehabbing a certain part, but also getting yourself in shape for camp. I think it all works worked well with me. Um, just knowing I'm healthy and I feel great. Where were you training? I was training in Michigan by the USA Hockey Arena. A lot of the guys train over there and I grew up in Plymouth actually, so it was a great setup for me. Yeah, with your brother, like who else was in the group? Uh, my brother was there. I mean, the Hughes guys, Caulfield, a lot of those guys work out there, but you know, I had a skating group of my brother, Chad Field, Chikrin, uh, a couple other guys, Hunter Skinner, and uh, we had a great group, a great summer. How much experience do you have playing on the right, on the right side? Um, before last season, a little bit, but after last season, I had a decent amount. Obviously, I'm a natural left winger, but if coach wants me on right wing, whatever it is, I'm more than happy to play it. Obviously, you get your touches, you're going to feel good. You get in a game, it's going to be no different. What's the biggest change? Adjustment right to left. Uh, I think the breakouts, obviously. If uh, you're breaking out on your offside, you're kind of maybe more vulnerable. Um, on your left side, it's easy to open up, but coming in the zone, uh, I like that getting a one-timer as an F3, or um, I like that puck on that side. So as these camp goes, you get more familiar with it and get back to being comfortable. I'm look forward to that. It in must terms have been of so refreshing for you to have a healthy offseason, like a oh, kid in the candy store. Yeah, like, it's great. I mean, I can actually, you know, go on a vacation. I'm worried about <laughs> rehabbing, and obviously the season was a lot shorter than what we wanted it. I wanted a longer summer, but or a shorter summer. But uh, yeah, it was just mentally, emotionally, everything. You know, I can go in the gym, not worry about rehabbing a muscle and I'm ready to go. In terms of um, first days of camp and go right back to junior hockey yeah. and all that, how tough was Craig's day today? <laughs> There's a lot of things you deal with camp. Junior, it's different. I mean, you're a junior, but here, I mean, you're, you know, you're going against grown men, you're going against, I mean, it's nothing different. It's my sixth training camp, but with new staff, there's a bunch of, you know, last year we had Tria's new guy, obviously new coaching staff, you want to do well. Um, you're competing against your teammates, you want to respect them and compete at the same time. There's a lot of factors going in, but once you get the first day out and obviously like the, um, the fitness testing out of the way, that's the biggest anxiety of the whole camp. It's good to get all that out and we can actually focus on getting confident and getting going. Did you have a favorite fitness testing or the hmm. least favorite hmm. fitness testing? Favorite fitness testing is probably the height and weight. <laughs> the, 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 the least the least favorite's got to be the uh, 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 salt bike test. That thing gets it. It's the half a mile under, you know, for me it was 58 seconds. 
and that thing you're like a baby rolling around after that for 20 minutes so i'm happy i got that done with obviously i signed good time and come here and get it over with so i can actually focus on the camp Where, vacation uh, anywhere i went fun? to aruba oh nice. yeah hot there but it was good to kind of get away like i said first healthy summer can actually go somewhere and enjoy it why was uh, toronto a good fit for you um you know i want to take my time this summer kind of see where i can get my body at see how uh, teams kind of shape up and then we kind of had a plan and we'll talk to teams a little bit later in the summer and see where there could be a good fit and ultimately both sides thought that this could be a good fit and uh, you know my family and I made a lot of sacrifices this summer um, a lot of travel a lot of work uh, like I said sacrifices my wife and family so I owe it to myself and to them to see if I can uh, get to where I was before the injuries and uh, the good news is I feel like I'm there and uh, I can't wait to prove it. What was day one like in terms of new team, new coach, all that kind of thing? Yeah, you know, all this happening so late, I got in uh, uh, the day before camp, so I haven't been, you know, with them for a bit, but it was really nice to come into a group that's really welcoming. And, uh, you know, obviously a lot of guys have a lot of, are in a new situation here with a new coach and a lot of new faces. And uh, um, everyone's excited to get going. So I'm, you know, no different position than most of the guys in this room. And everyone is coming in with a chip on their shoulder or something to prove and and that's my scenario as well you're familiar with being in a canadian market just coming back to one and the possibility that your first game as a toronto maple <laughs> leaf will be at the bell center in montreal yeah i haven't talked in in front of this many cameras in four years or <laughs> so it's uh no it's exciting and and i think at this stage of my career like i said i have a lot to prove right now and and this certainly adds a little bit more uh, motivation. I think I've always kind of thrived under the spotlight and the pressure and it kind of, you know, every day it, it, you know, pushes you to prepare to, to be the best you can be. Um, today was an example of that. It was a really, really, really hard practice. Everyone rose to the occasion, had a great practice, but uh, um, I loved my time in Montreal and, and uh, that's a big reason why I feel like I could play in this market. Did anybody give you any grief about being the captain of one team <laughs> and playing for the other? It doesn't happen, it has happened, but nothing <laughs> I've heard a bit about it, and uh, at the same time, it's uh, it's really an honor. And uh, you know, these are two special franchises, and uh, it's an honor for me to be here and, and, and wear this jersey. What do you like about this particular roster? Like you said, it was a good fit for you. What what's the good fit? What do you? Well, like? clearly, it's top heavy, and um, everyone knows that you have uh, three, four of the best forwards in the world in this lineup, and oftentimes you need uh, you know guys to kind of plug in and help complement them and uh, you know there's roles throughout the lineup that um, there's going to be competition for and I see myself competing every day to, to try and grab one of those roles and um, yeah and it's no secret that uh, they've had a lot of success um, with their top guys but you know I need to get over the hump and uh, I'm, I'm looking to you know push everybody just as, uh, as much as they're looking to push me. How much of your rehab was mental more than it was physical or maybe the same just given that you went through the injury you did, but then re-injured it. And yeah. Kind of trying to maneuver around. Yeah, I'm I'm past the mental side of it. The mental side of it is when you you know you're searching for answers, and you know you have your third surgery, and you don't know what it's going to be like, and you know you're going to jump in somewhere January, February, and you haven't had a summer to train in in three years. That that that's the mental side of it, and and uh, that's why you know this kind of took so long. Um, from from both sides this summer is because uh, I, I'm over the mental side of it. I, I wanted to see physically where I was at. I wanted to, I owed it to myself to see if I can get up to a level where I thought um, I can you know compete to where I was before the injury. Um, it wasn't perfect when I first started training. I realized how uh, I guess deconditioned my body really was through the you know almost three years of two two plus years of, of being injured and, and being on the couch and whatnot. So. Um, the mental side's gone. Physically, I, I really like where I'm at. What's cool about right now in this day and age is you have the uh, the measurements to, to show you that you know everything's strong. Um, I'm where I was before in terms of strength, power, and uh, I'm looking to prove that on the ice. Was there ever a thought, Max, um, that entered your mind of whether or not you wanted to try to push through to get back to this level? Did you ever think about saying, you know what? That might be it. I, I never wanted to do that, but I told myself I'll listen to my body, and if my body tells me that I can't go on, then I'll listen to my body. And uh, like I said, it wasn't perfect. We were uh, May, June, was in the gym. There are times where I really question a lot. Um, like I said, there's measurements now where you can see where you're at. I definitely wasn't in a good place uh, early on in the summer. 
Um, once again, my family made tremendous sacrifices, traveled around the world and uh, tried to see the best people I can to try and uh, you know, push this to the to the absolute brink, and uh, I feel like I'm in a good place now. What places did you go? See you around the uh, A couple places. <laughs> 67 is a number that uh, kind of makes Lee's fans cringe a bit. Did you have any thoughts on that? <laughs> Switching it all. Uh, hopefully it's good luck. Yeah. It's uh, I've, I've heard fans say one or two ways. It's either it's going to be good luck or uh, but uh, you know I hope to bring the team good luck with that number. How did you come about 67 in the first place? Just what they gave me in training camp and back then you didn't have much of a say. Uh, every number seemed to be retired or taken by <laughs> of a team and uh, at one point in my career maybe thought about switching but it's just uh, as my dad uh, my dad didn't didn't let me make that happen. He mm. said it, that's my number now and I got to stick with it. During your time in Montreal, did you have a little chuckle when you know you're playing the Leafs and you hear the chant from the gallery? <laughs> I, I, yeah, I certainly didn't. It's funny, people have said that to me, but I didn't know much uh, about that at the time. Maybe a little oblivious to that. Um, so you thought they were cheering for you? Hopefully, they're cheering for me when they say that this year. Yeah. <laughs> It was a hard practice. Just what stands out about Berube and kind of the Tony setting. This is uh, just what you said right there. He's setting the tone right there from day one. And this is a team that wants to uh, come out of the gates and, and show that they have a whole new compete level. And, and it's not going to be easy to come in this rink and play right from uh, the first game. And that's what's cool about when you have a new environment like this. You can kind of build a new identity right from the right from the get go. And certainly looks like that's what he wants to do. And uh, it's a, an exciting time to be here. So what stood out about the first practice under Coach? That was, that was hard. It was uh, it was a grind, but it was good. I think uh, you know intensity was up. And come out of the gates hot, and um, you're gonna see what this team's all about. What, what stands out the most about Barube? Uh, he expects a lot. He expects intensity. He expects uh, detail. Um, but I, I think you know after you saw that practice, it's gonna be you know a very direct, um, you know gritty team this year. Can you compare? How intense this particular day was, or maybe the last couple of days with the, tra with the medicals yesterday, to previous years? Like, is it getting more intense as the years go on? Or? I mean, as I get older, yeah, I guess it gets <laughs> a little tougher every year. Um, yeah, I don't know. I, you know, I remember last year's first day tough. Um, that was today was in my top two, and it probably wasn't two. So uh, <laughs> it was it was a good day though. You know, it's uh, I think. It sends a message to the team right away of, of what our identity is going to be, and uh, I think guys enjoyed that battle. Um, you know, we got through it and move on to day two. Would you, say, would you say you identify? I'm sorry. Would you say you identify more with with Craig because of the NHL player he was? Is that fair? Probably, yeah. He's uh, you know more my uh, my style coach. Um, you know, I think maybe a little more grittier system, a little more direct system than uh, what I'm used to. So yeah, I think, uh, I think I'm going to enjoy it. What made today so hard? Uh, well, it's just I, I think when you go through summer skates, you know you're not uh, you're not really leaning on anybody. You, know, you don't really get those battle drills in you, and uh, that was just up and down the sheet battles. Um, you know, in the corners, one on ones, two on twos, um, but still full ice kind of drill. So, um, I, you know, the first day of leaning on guys is always hard, but when you when you throw it into a full practice like that, it's it's tough. From from yesterday's uh, the workouts you did yesterday, do you have a favorite and a least favorite? Favorite and favorite, least favorite, what? Whatever they put you through, like something you love to do and something you hate to do. No, I love that stuff. I mean, it was it was hard. Don't get me wrong, but um, you know, I think you know it's right up my alley. It's the, that's the kind of stuff I love. I love, love being, being in the corners and, and grinding, and um, you know, I think it's going to drag some of those skill guys into that kind of game. Uh, maybe get them a little uncomfortable right away, but um, you know, when you have a lineup from the first line to the fourth line, you know, and the D-men all doing that, it's uh, it's tough to play against. I've been on teams like that where, uh, you know, teams hated coming in our building because we, it was just every line that played like that. So uh, what's to that about the first practice with Craig? Yeah, great, a lot of pace. Um, dying out there, but I think that's good. That's the first day of camp, that's how it should be. In general, your thoughts on him, just what, what stands out the most is him as a coach, as a guy? Yeah, unbelievable guy, just seeing him uh, around the locker room, um, talking to him and stuff like that. But I think the, the attitude and what he brings to the table, uh, just I mean, seeing today from the first practice um, what he wants, and he just wants the compete level to be high and high pace, so it's uh, a lot of fun. What's it like uh, having your brother in camp? Yeah, I mean, lots of fun. We're uh, He's obviously staying with me, so um, 
having some fun and I mean hopefully he has a good camp. How What's much the... convincing did that take? To talk to my brother? Yeah. No, it was just a discussion about it. I mean, thinking what the best part is for his uh for his career and best, uh, you know, to help him bec uh, get to where he wants to be. So, um, it was a long discussion, it wasn't easy, but uh, in the end we thought uh, for him to come here would be best for his development and, um, yeah, hopefully hopefully that works out the way the way we want it to. Are you surprised, I mean, the talent that he's got that he hasn't found an NHL home on a regular basis? Yeah, he's, he's had a, I mean, tough situation with injuries and stuff. Uh, Going from team to team, and then you know it gets going in one team, and then that GM or whatever is gone, coach is gone. So it's had a little bit of a uh, not so easy, easy start with uh, I mean to his career. But I mean he's been battling through, and you saw what he was able to do last year in Columbus. So um, yeah, I'm just supporting him, and hopefully uh, you know he takes that step and, and becomes a regular. And oh. how about you, uh, another campus center? What are you, your thoughts on playing down the middle? Yeah, I'm. I'm excited. I think that I told told Chief that. I mean, the f most important thing is I can't just play one game if you want to try a center. So I mean, we're on. We agree on that and give it a go, and uh, hopefully it goes well. Why do you think the experiment didn't last very long at last camp? You know, it, it seemed like you were at <laughs> well, did right I back one the game. Two, two, I think. Yeah, I don't know. I have to ask my old coach about that. <laughs> <laughs> what have you liked when you played center? A lot of puck in the middle of the ice, and I mean, distributing it from there and getting some space with the puck. I mean, the option to go right or left versus being on the, the wing, you only got like one option to go. So, uh, yeah, it gives you a little bit more uh, more space and options. What's it like living with your brother? Like, does it feel like home? Like, like what, how would you describe what it's like to have him? <laughs> yeah, I mean, we've been best friends since we were kids, so I mean, every summer we hang out all the time together, so. It's just normal, you know, it's like, it's like we're, <laughs> you know, at home in the summer right now, so, yeah. Who's the best cook? <laughs> Me, I don't think he cooks. <laughs> <laughs> have, have you seen the Amazon series that you're in yet? Have, have you seen the episode? Uh, no, I haven't seen it, actually. I've just heard about it, like, a little bit, but I haven't seen it. What, how do you feel about that coming out to the public? Are you excited? Is there stuff you're nervous about? No, I mean, I think it's great. It just shows uh, the background of what goes on, maybe a little bit more off the ice, which, I mean, for me, watching other shows too, I think it's interesting seeing, you know, the way other athletes live their life, regardless if it's golf, tennis, um, the NFL. So I think that'll be pretty fun for uh, for people to see. I, like, I haven't seen anything, so I don't know how much of the, from the outside they have, uh, they put in the show, but. I think it'll be fun. Sorry, did you have any hesitation about allowing them to watch a game with you when you were out injured in the playoffs? Or No. Yeah. A year ago, you were, we were all talking about, are you going to sign an extension, etc. Mitch is going through it now. Did you have to talk to Mitch at all about it? Do you have any advice for him? I mean, he's pretty chill about it. So, I mean, just <laughs> you just play your best and, you know, that's, what, that's all you can do. Um, I mean, he's a great player and... I mean, when it comes down to it, he, he he'll get what he deserves for sure. Austin, we know uh, the new captain, last... William. Like, what? How have you seen him grow as a leader since you've been around him? Yeah, I mean, from day one, I think he's always actually been a leader um, since he got here, just with his work ethic and the way he uh, carries himself off the ice. Um, and I mean, the way he leads the team on the ice too. So I think, I mean, it's just kind of uh, been in him naturally to be that leader. And I mean. The switch. I think any of those two guys could be our leader. So um, I think it's a lot of fun for Austin to take on that role, and it'd be nice for John to step away from that. During COVID, you and Austin lived with Jumbo uh, in that house, and now Celebrini's going to be living with Jumbo in San Jose. We asked Austin about that last week, how he how he felt about that, and he said he was envious. <laughs> um, what can Celebrini expect from living with Jumbo? I mean, it's always a blast around Jumbo. I mean, there was never, a, never a dull moment. It felt like, I mean, you could sit down and chill for for two minutes, and we had to go do something. So, I mean, there's always something on the go. Um, I mean, just it's a like blast. Like wearing sta skates in the living room. Yeah, I, I mean, he was up to a lot of stuff. So, <laughs> he's just a great guy. I mean, one of my uh, favorite teammates I've had. Want your group of players to take away from this first practice? Yeah, just an identity more than anything. I think uh, you know. A lot of work and compete out there, a lot of battles. Um, 
you know, just learning that you're going to be uncomfortable a lot of times in games and you got to work and compete under those circumstances. So, you know, I was, I was very happy with the first day overall. Um, guys really worked. A lot of the players talked about the intensity and the compete for you. Why is it important right off the hop to establish well, that? Yeah, I mean, it's the game, isn't it? I mean, I get not every game is as intense as other games, but, you know, I think, like, again, I want our team to have an identity about competing, playing hard, you know, working, uh, winning battles, winning one-on-one battles. And, um, you know, it was. It, I was really impressed. It was tough practice, but... I didn't find that the pace dropped off that much from start to end, which is very important. As the camp goes along, what do you look for from your guys on PTOs, like Lorenz and Pacioretty? Well, I mean, ex you know, just like we're looking at other guys, you know, young guys uh, out of junior or college, and, you know, just we're, and I get these guys, I've been in the NHL, I get all that, but, I mean, what they do as players. We, you know, Lorenz is a guy that, uh, Filled in a role last year for Florida. He's got size, he's got speed, strength. You know, he did a good job in the playoffs for them, penalty killing and things like that. And Pat has been an elite scorer in this league for a long time. You know, he's been injured for the last couple of years, so he's feeling healthy and uh, big, strong guy. Can score, hang on to pucks. What kind of conversations have you had with uh, Nick Robertson, who says he's very happy? <clears throat> Uh, with you, well, it's even in the summertime. I didn't focus on the contract stuff. It has nothing to do with me. I just said I'd love you to come to camp and hope you're here. And um, you know, with your ability and speed and youth, um, be a good addition to our team. Um, as he is was last year, but just that stuff. I mean, I don't get too in depth with the other stuff, the negotiations and all that stuff. Let's. It's not for me. What kind of kid does he seem like to you? He's that? a great kid, hard worker, got a great personality, energy. Thought he had a great day today on the ice. Um, you know, he's got some elite speed and, and shot. How long so, do you have to see William in the middle to, to gauge how successful he can be there in that, that spot? Like that's a good question. I mean, you, you got to give him some opportunity and time. It's not just going to. You know, you're going to have to see an exhibition here down the road a little bit, play a few games, see what he looks like, see how he's feeling, see if he's comfortable, you know, just conversations that I'll have with him, but also we'll we'll be watching him and see what, you know, what looks. How would you, you notice from Nikita Gribyankin playing on a line with two NHL players? He's a strong guy. He's a big guy, strong. Um, I was impressed with him today with, you know, again, you know, it was a tough practice, but he, you know, it didn't, his pace didn't drop off. A big, strong kid, strong skater, some real good stuff there. Like, you know, I love his size. How important is the first couple of days for your assistants as well, your new, especially the two new assistant coaches here? <laughs> well, I mean, it's important that, um, you know, as a coach and staff that we form chemistry out there and we work well together on the ice, but also that they're, you know, working well with the players, getting to know the players, um, communication with the players, all that stuff is very important. What will you be looking for from William making the transition to center? Is there something you'll be like, watching? Well, as a center iceman, <clears throat> you know, you're playing your own end down low, obviously, and areas of that and breakouts and things like that and um, being in the right position working to get back there quickly to help the d out things like that are very important and you know i don't think it's going to be an issue with him getting a puck and transporting it up the ice he's an elite player he has that ability but it's the details of the defensive part of the game the breakouts and things like that positioning that takes a little bit more time What's that, in the, oh, go ahead, Jonathan. No, I was just going to say, is that reps? Just Well, reps definitely help, uh, for sure. Um, Face-offs, all that stuff is uh, things that he's going to have to work on and we're going to have to work with him. Getting to know your, your kind of style, what's the significance of the stopwatch you got going during practice? What are you looking oh, for? Oh, I just, when I track drills and stuff like that, I, uh, I like to know what the time, how long the drill's running, things like that. Sometimes I just lose track, oh, you know, more in training camp than any other time, just so I can keep an eye on practice and how long the drills are running and things like that. That's important because we don't want to be, you know, getting too long, and then you got another group coming up. Everything's got to roll smoothly, so I try to keep track of things in camp with the stopwatch.